On the morning of the 27th of October 1918, Canadian ace of 46 victories, Major William Billy Barker, takes off from Bunyat Aerodrome in his Sopwith snipe on a solo patrol. Having been recalled to England after a short roving tour of the Western Front, Barker decides to make a final flight over the lines before making the cross-channel flight. This decision will result in him fighting insurmountable odds in one of the best-known dogfights of the First World War. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. World of Tanks is a free-to-play online multiplayer game for PC that caters to new and expert players alike. Choose your vehicle from a huge tank arsenal of tank destroyers, artillery, light, medium and heavy tanks. Take part in massive battles fighting across open fields, dense forests and deserts and urban settings in over 40 battle arenas. Appreciate the meeting of history and action as you modify and upgrade your historically authentic tanks and vehicles. Wargaming has partnered with Madrina's Coffee and right now you can buy the game's branded coffee by following the link in the description. Get the limited edition bundle, World of Tanks M4 Sherman Medium Blend Coffee, plus World of Warships Enterprise Dark Roasted Coffee. You can also find standalone World of Tanks coffee in store. Download World of Tanks today using the link in the description. Use the code COMBAT to get 7 days free premium access, 250,000 credits, premium Cromwell B tier 6 tank, and 3 rental tanks for 10 battles each. Thanks again to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Barker climbs towards the front lines. Having seen action on the Western and Italian fronts, he has achieved over 40 aerial victories, making him one of the highest scoring Entente aces at this point in the war. With more than 900 combat hours in two and a half years, Barker has been recently transferred back to England to undertake fighter training duties, which he has done since September 1918. Unsatisfied with this outcome, Barker pushed for and achieved a 10-day roving commission attached to 201 Squadron RAF to gain further combat experience and stay up to date with air tactics. On the 10th and final day of the roving commission, Barker leaves for England but decides to patrol the lines a final time. Arriving over Mormile Forest at 21,000 feet, Barker spots a lone two-seater Rumpler aircraft. It is commanded by Observer Lieutenant Oscar Wattenberg. Barker patiently stalks the enemy aircraft. Close by and approaching unseen are the Fokker D7s of several Yasters. Some records state that these aircraft belonged to Yasta 24, Yasta 44, and or Yasta 3, but the answer is unclear. Meanwhile, Barker engages the Rumpler. Wattenberg is killed, while the pilot parachutes soon after. Becoming target fixated, Barker is caught unawares by a large formation of Fokker D7s. Some sources state that up to 60 aircraft attack Barker at this moment, but the exact number is likely between 15 and 30. 
Immediately, he is shot through the right leg. Barker turns to engage the German aircraft, aggressively attacking anything in sight. Barker dispatches one of the attackers, shooting it down in flames. Barker is hit in the left leg and shoulder but fights on while being attacked from every angle. As the fight progresses, Canadian General Andrew McNaughton and thousands of British soldiers witness Barker's dogfight. They confirm all of Barker's kills. Losing altitude throughout the fight, Barker encounters several layers of the Yustas. He eventually faints from the pain and the lone Sopwith snipe falls out of control. The rushing air revives him, allowing him to continue his fight for survival. He shoots down another aircraft from very close range. Fainting again from pain and loss of blood, Barker again recovers and makes a dash for the lines. Having reached the safety of the British lines, Barker attempts a landing in spite of his injuries. He crashes near a British balloon position Severely wounded and bleeding profusely, but he survives. In all, four victories are confirmed, including the Rumpler, bringing his total score to 50. Don't miss your chance to experience World of Tanks now. Link is in the description.